brought up in a home where my father really enjoyed talking about black history. We should have a, a program that's in all of our schools. He was, we, we must never forget. And I think we're, we're, we're failing to forget that. Do you remember, did, during that time, were you taught black history in the school? No. No, it wasn't no black history, nothing. Nothing like that. A people that does not, uh, do not know their history are doomed to repeat it. That's a look at Sankofa Chicago, an award-winning docu-series that is examining how curriculums have left out black contributions to American history and how that's causing black students and communities to be left behind. Vanessa Wright, director and producer of Sankofa Chicago, joining us now, along with Deshaun Simmons. He's an educator who was featured in the project. Welcome to both of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you Thank for you having us. And I want to start with you, Vanessa. For people who may not be familiar, talk to us about what Sankofa means. Okay, yeah, Sankofa means, it comes from the African word, which is an, um, from the Akan tribe of Ghana, that means go back and fetch it. And essentially meaning um, it's important to learn your history, go back to the past, understand it so you can move forward. And so that's, that's why the docu docuseries is, has that name. And yeah. so this is about making sure that our young people in Chicago know their history, right? Talk to us about why you wanted to create the documentary. Okay, yeah. I wanted to create the documentary uh, mainly because growing up, I didn't know who, you know, as far as my culture, knowing where my family came from. We had no idea, like most black people. Um, and so I had been doing research ever since I was in college about that um, and why we're not understand or learning our history, like the truth of, of American history. And so I dug deep and then um, I formed a website and then I formed, I ended up forming a podcast, my kids' web series. And right, because you've got two boys. Yeah, I have two boys, yeah, that uh -huh. attend CPS schools. And mm -hmm. so they were getting into digging into the history, right? They had a YouTube Yeah, channel? they have a YouTube channel um, called Your Kid Professors and they're teaching other kids about black history. And I felt like that was a fun way for them to learn as you know, in the process, because they kept saying, I want a YouTube channel. So by them learning, and I have them doing the research, I've also had them teaching them how to edit themselves and use the camera, and they teach other kids about black history. Deshaun, as an educator, what kinds of gaps are you seeing in the curriculum when it comes to our young people learning about their history, the role of black people in this country, beyond Black History Month? Uh, I think they're missing uh, a lot, you know, uh, some of the simplest things or, or, or people, period. For example, like a lot of us know who Rosa Parks is, right? Mm -hmm. But there was somebody who came before Rosa Parks, mm -hmm. called that Colvin, who actually sat on the bus first, right? So it's just so many things that our children are missing. And like she said, it's just so much uh, that we have to learn, and especially about where we come from and how we got there. And to her point, like a lot of these things I didn't find out until, you know, college. Mm -hmm. So it's major, major gaps. Make the connection for us uh, in terms of what our young people are missing when that history is missing um, and how that translates into some of the challenges that we are seeing every day in Chicago. I think they're missing how rich our history is. They are missing uh, who they are and how they can navigate through the world and be important in this society, right? You know, oftentimes we, we hear the stories about being slaves or we hear the stories about the, the bad parts about the civil rights movement, but sometimes we need to, our kids need to hear about those successes, you know, mm -hmm. about, you know, even down to all of the things that we invented, you know, like the, the patents and all of yeah, these. Yeah, the innovation. Uh, the innovation, you know, even down like to the first car, a black man actually had a hand in that. 
and most of us, most of our kids don't know that, or us, period. And I found that out, you know, later on, like she said, in my college years. So just if we step back from the negative part and go and look for that, for that positive part, I think our kids will be better off, and that's one thing that we're missing. So, Vanessa, this is a three-part series. Yes, ma'am. And you had to get this done even during the pandemic. Talk to us about what the process was like. Who did you interview? Yeah, so the first of the docu-series, just Sankofa Chicago, um, I was thankful enough to get a grant through the Illinois Arts Council. And with that grant, um, if you're familiar with grants, you have to meet deadlines. So with that deadline, I had one year or a little bit less than a year to complete it. My first interview was scheduled on that Tuesday, the same day that the president wow. at the time um, said that we, it's a national, you know, uh, pandemic and mm -hmm. that everything must be shut down. So we had some issues with that because people were scared to be interviewed. People were, you know, I had crew that was scared to, you know, um, go into various places to interview. Right, understandably so. Um, so what did it feel like for you to see this finished product, this labor of love? And what do you want people to take away from it once they've seen it? Yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful to all those that have helped throughout the film. And so um, what I'd really like for people to take away is that the importance of learning not just black history, but the truth about American history and how it's important for all of us to know, not just black people, but all, all everybody to know that history. And, and it's important as, um, as far as an educational platform, I'd like to use it in schools mm -hmm. and have you know we have clips and we have within the documentary because it's geared for a young audience it's very relatable right yeah it is mm -hmm. i mean i would say more or less eighth grade but we have clips that for youngers and we have study or um, discussion guides that would go to like schools or organizations or churches that would help with learning all right Vanessa Deshawn, thank you so much for coming in. For more details, you can visit SankofaChicago.com. We'll be right back.